Welcome back guys to the fourth part of the Piggy OSD video series. If you haven't been following along, look in the description below. I'll place a link to my OSD playlist where you will find the last three videos. This is going to be the final video. I'm just going to give you a few extra tips and tricks as well as show you around the OSD menu to uh, get you familiarized with it and show you what you can and can't do. So my very first tip is, if you remember in the last videos, we used the FTDI adapter uh, connected to the OSD to be able to flash firmware to it and go into the MW OSD GUI to make our setting changes. But because the OSD is mounted onto the back of the camera, it's wired into the camera, also wired into the video transmitter and flight controller, and in the middle of our build, we would have to take a lot of stuff apart and remove a lot of wires just to make any setting changes. Well, in the OSD menu, you can actually change the layout the graphical layout as well as many other settings through that menu which I'm going to show you in just a second and you can do much more than that change your PIDs, rates, expos, much more uh, but there's some things you can't change through the OSD menu and in that case we need to get into the MW OSD GUI and we can do that through a pass-through so if we plug in a USB cable and go into Betaflight connect. First thing you want to do is uh, take note of what UART your OSD is connected to. And in my case, I am connected to UART 3. Then go to CLI and we want to type serial pass through. One word, no spaces. Then press one space and you want to type a zero if you're using UART 1, a one for UART 2, or a two for UART 3. And because I'm using UART 3, I will use number two do another space. We need to type the baud rate which is 115,200 and by the way um, this only works if your OSD is connected to a UART not a soft serial. If it's connected to a soft serial this won't work. So once you have this typed out press enter and you will, are going to get this message basically saying whenever you want to exit this mode that it's in just unplug the USB cable and completely power off your flight controller. Next we need to disconnect or else it's not going to work and now let's try to go into the MW OSD GUI. Okay now my OSD, I am powering with my video transmitter because my video transmitter has a 5 volt out on it. If yours is set up the same way, then you're going to have to do what I'm doing. And uh, what I mean by that is plugging in a LiPo battery that's going to power my video transmitter. And now my OSD is powered because it wasn't before. Okay, and now my OSD is powered. So next we want to click the COM port that's on, and we will see that it's reading. And there we go. We can now make all of our setting changes through uh, the MW OSD GUI. So I set this up just for this video but let me go ahead and set it up to how I actually use it. And there we go. I like the bare minimum. Uh, then we're going to write. It's writing and now it's done. Hey guys, I'm editing this video and I just wanted to point out that if you did choose to use the pre-release of MWOSD 1.7, it is going to be buggy because if it wasn't buggy, it would be already officially released by now. So uh, some of these features or the graphical layout stuff doesn't work like your scrolling bars and elevation bars. The most important things do work like voltage, current, RSSI, and so on. Uh, so I just want you guys to be aware because I know someone's going to ask why isn't something working. If you are watching this video at a later date and 1.7 is officially released, then I'm sure it will all be working fine. And uh, if it hasn't been officially released, you can always go back to version 1.7 where everything is working fine. The only difference between 1.6 and 1.7 is 1.6 doesn't have uh, the extra Betaflight OSD menu, which I'm about to show you coming up soon. So let's close this out. Well, technically you're supposed to click close com first before you close that out. And then uh, I'm going to disconnect my battery, remove the USB cable. Now my flight controller is completely powered off. So it just exited that mode automatically. If you try to reconnect to Betaflight, you can now reconnect. 
Okay, now I'm going to plug in the battery and take you guys into the OSD menu and show you what you can can do in it. Okay, now to enter the menu, and this first part is going to be for everybody. If you put your yaw to the right and pitch up, that's going to enter the normal MWOSD menu. And if you use the pre-release of MWOSD 1.7, or if you're watching this video at a later date and 1.7 is already released, you can also do y'all to the left and pitch up. And that will enter the OSD menu that looks almost just like Betaflight's OSD menu to give you those uh, few extra Betaflight specific options. So if we do this, I'm now in the menu and I will use my pitch and roll to navigate up and left and right and down and you can use the, your yaw to the left and right to change your uh, PIDs or whatever it is uh, you're on that screen for. So you can change your PIDs here, then we'll yaw to the right to page over. You can do your RC rates, expos, TPA, TPA breakpoint, and this is uh, just another way of getting into the beta flight type menu, which we'll go into in just a second. Uh, like I said, you can calibrate your voltage and all that here, but I would I would recommend doing that through uh, beta flight or clean flight. You can also change, uh, if you switch from a 4 cell battery to a 5 cell or down to a 3 cell, you can do that here. You can turn on the display for your RSSI and all that stuff. Same thing for current. Uh, this page is going to be, notice how I just had voltage and throttle position. Well, you can turn anything on and off through this page, so you don't have to go back into the MWOSD GUI. You can change some more things here, uh, set up your alarms here, and change your uh, uh, PID profile and PID controller here, and we are back to the beginning. Now, let me power this off real quick so my ESC stopped beeping. Well, first, let me save and exit. Okay, and I'm back with two more minutes before the ESCs stop beeping. So it looks like whenever I turned those extra displays on, it actually didn't work. And I know before it did, this could possibly be because I am using the pre-release of 1.7. It's just a beta version um, because I know on 1.6 it actually does work. So I'll have to look more into that one. Now this time I'm going to y'all to the left and pitch up. And this OSD menu looks is the one that looks almost identical to uh, Betaflight's OSD menu that works with uh, those specific flight controllers uh, like the Omnibus and the Betaflight F3. And uh, here you can change your uh, you know PID profile stuff like that again. Uh, you can you can just mess around with this, go into all the little nooks and crannies to find out exactly what all you can do. Turn your black box on and off enable your LED strips or turn them off. You can check uh, what version of firmware you have on your flight controller. If we go into PIDs, we can change PIDs again here, but the, the really nice part is you can go to your rates and actually change not just your RC rates but your super rates, which is very important to me. I'm always tinkering with my rates. And you can also, uh, you know, change your filters and stuff like that, which is something MWOSD didn't use used to have. That was only the Betaflight OSD, but now this uh, MWOSD firmware is catching up. And once again, always remember to save and reboot if you did make any changes. And that's going to do it, guys. So I hope this helped you out. Um, saved you from having to tear everything apart anytime you may, wanted to make it, any changes and uh, also you know it's it's really good to know that uh, you know these things have built-in OSDs or the menus to uh, because I don't know about you guys with this I don't take my laptop into the field with me at all I, the only things I want to change are my PIDs, rates, expos and uh, things like that so I don't need a laptop I just do it through the OSD so thanks for watching, and I will see you again soon.